So hi guys. Hello everyone. Yes, yeah, so today we have our BFF challenge. Yay! Uh, BFF, BFF. Uh, oh, like you guys, I'm like I'm the cutest BFF ever. You are the cutest. <laughs> trust you me. So we're yeah, happy to have you here today. Thank Us, you for having yes. me again. You're welcome. TV. TV. Okay, shout out to YouTube. Yo, YouTube. What's your YouTube channel? Teacher Wanjiko, you guys. Please wow. check out her. Check out YouTube my channel. best friend that I do YouTube channel. I know. <laughs> but you rarely post. Yeah. So you're not as active. But of course, I command. Thank you. Amen. And I receive that. Commanding masses. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Yes, so my YouTube channel is Wanjiko the Teacher. Check it out. Subscribe. Yes. Yeah. So our channel is usually about emotional and mental wellness. Yeah. And we want to be inspired by you today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're the uh, award winning female. Award winning. Mm. You are the award winning female comedian. Yes. The most influential female comedian of our time. Yeah. You have been to the States. And back and please. back and in back. different states. You were there for different. like I was there for three weeks and I did a tour for how many states? Seven states. Which was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. I was like, hoo, 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 hoo. next time when I'm going there, uh 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 five sh four shows, half is a year and is a ginger. Because I never also I never got to like uh, go and see this amazing um shit country like i never toured toured okay I'm so mm -hmm. i never went to Lesman, like Lesman. on vacation like you, you just were there for landmarks work. no 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 oh, i no. never got to see the most famous landmarks in america so the next time i go there i would on vacay I'll, I'll, I'll be on i'll be on vacay yeah Niveke. so niveke yeah. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> vacation <laughs> okay Tembea. yes so mm. like did you have specific jokes for whatever state am i like a joke Texas, wapi, wapi, unayangusha. It was quite interesting because I had one, uh, the content was just the same. Well, the content was just the same, oh. but depending on which state I went, I had to, I had to, when I, talk about it, I have to accommodate them. Like when I go to Texas, yeah. Texas like is you customize known, it. I, I can customize it to oh. the state. So if mm -hmm. I go to Texas, I know Texas is all about uh, cowboys. Uh, they, they are very traditional in Texas. Their food and yeah, and also there are so many Kenyans there. <laughs> yeah, there are very many Kenyans there. Yes, yes. Yeah. So today we're asking you ten questions. 10 questions with Teacher Wanjiko. We want to get inspired. We want to get mm. to know you on an emotional and on a mental point of view. Okay. That level. Okay. We know you with the jokes. We know you, your glam on social media. Yes. So let's get to know you on another level. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what was the feeling mm -hmm. winning the most influential female comedian of our time? What was the feeling like? Oh, my. Um, so first, I was going for, for one award. This influential award... I I was surprised because I didn't know I was going to get them. I, I was getting another one. Then I happened to be given um, the most influential one by the Congress in Houston. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Congress hey, was called Shilla. That is so huge. I yes, know, it was yes. so huge. And I was also the MC. Hey. So when they were announcing, they were announcing, the, and then they used my, 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 my real name, but they didn't use Teacher Wanjiko. Yeah. So when they called out my name, uh, uh, Caroline Wanjiko, now you know, Caroline Wanjiko, <laughs> I was like, huh? So my, 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 my team was like, it's you, it's you, I'm like, huh? it's me, Ka Caroline, oh, oh my God. They, I, I was so excited and I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe. So thank you so much, uh, Congress in Houston. Yay. Yay. And we are, we are proud of Mishiko, we are <laughs> Thank you so much. You. So what's your best quality? Um, best quality in terms of what my career, yes, or? in terms of like overall in overall. life, yeah. What, what's your what's your best quality? What do you carry with you everywhere in terms of value quality? I think my best quality is happiness. It's being happy. Like I I carry everywhere I go. I I try as much as I can to be happy. Not as much as I can, by the way. I am very you are happy, a happy woman. Yes, all the time. Like it is. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm happy even when I am upset or sad, I am still happy. And uh, and that's one of the qualities that I would not want to lose. Yeah, you're a joyful person. I'm a joyful person. I, I wouldn't want somebody to see the other 
side of me because honey uh, yeah side. i know <laughs> <laughs> it can get ugly <laughs> ah, yes. yeah mm-hmm. so yeah. and then also uh, your your career your mm-hmm. comment career ticked off mm-hmm. like yeah. in your late 20s early 30s <laughs> it was my late. mid mm-hmm. mid 20s Mid twenties. Mid twenties. Mid. I'm not gonna say my late thirty. I'm still certain. My my. Okay, many guys. I'm not even that old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Talk on the ID. Talk on the ID. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, it started mid twenties, mm-hmm. all the way to late twenties. Now I'm in my early. Uh, no, I'm in my mid. I missed that one. Be anyway. You just know I'm thirty. <laughs> I don't owe anybody an explanation about my age because mm-hmm. it speaks for itself. So, okay. mm-hmm. yeah, so that's when my career started mm-hmm. and it was very interesting because the transition from, I used to be in theater, uh, we used to be in theater together. Yeah, that's where we met. Yeah, in theater, yeah. yeah? yeah. We're doing but those you, are not, plays. you are not looking like this uh, then. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, guys, I did not have money back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. but but yeah. So it started in theater. Do you know about theater? What happened? Uh, then I decided I want to join comedy, stand-up comedy, whether it's stand-up comedy and uh, drama. So there are, there are so many types of comedy. So what I do now is stand-up comedy. What I used to do before was um, theatrical comedy, where you have to uh, you, your voice. <laughs> do you have to what? Yeah. <laughs> You have to project it's like yeah. when you're doing well, Lucy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you have to exaggerate because Demi people can't say, Bocono. Demi Bocono. <laughs> you know, I also did the same thing. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did. But yes. those ones were not funny. Mom, you, I was not... funny. <laughs> I was funny. I don't know why I lost it. <laughs> well, yeah. Mozoni, I struggled a little bit with acting, but you know, she, she was with me. So, Nili Fundisha. And now, here she is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that question, yeah. the third question. Yes. Uh, what uh, it took you a while, yeah, to for your career to start. Mm-hmm. What would you have done differently? Uh, I think I should have put myself out there more, especially when I was in theater, because my transition was very slow. Because my friends who were there back then came and Walani Peter too. Walani Peter. We even have people who did like two shows, and all of a sudden. Wamenda. Yeah, yeah. Wamenda. And I, I really didn't expose myself that much, which I wish I did. Uh, maybe I would have been far than where I am now. But I always say everything is God's plan. You never know. So I think I should have done that differently. Secondly, I think I should have not trusted people so much. Like I trusted friends, especially female friends. Wow. Female. Wow. <laughs> I wish mm-hmm. I wish I would I, I should have put my circle really really small because now my circle is very small my circle is like I have Mudoni I have Masi I have okay Suezi Wataja Ote but Nikama Wawili too See, yes so I've learned to keep my circle very very small because I trust I have that weakness of trusting too much I trust the industry it lets me down I trust my friends they let me down I you know that was the biggest issue I had back then but now I'm better I'm well informed uh, yes, well informed yeah so, okay <laughs> yeah question number four mm. what's your biggest regret in life so my transition between Churchill show to breaking out to, to being a solo artist by myself and getting immediately into another show I think that is one of the biggest regrets I have in my career uh, and I thought, you know, when you're on top of the world and you think you are you and blah, 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 this is you, this is me. I think I should have given myself time. And that is between one Between Churchill the, Show and Teacher Wanjiko Show. Yes, be, be, between Churchill Show and Teacher Wanjiko Show. And sometimes people approach you, you think they have good intentions and they don't. Uh, I went to my mentor asked him about it should I join this show I'm just from here I feel like I need a breather then I didn't listen to my guts yeah. then I just went straight in that is one of the biggest biggest regret in my career um, in my life the biggest regret I have in my life I think in my life I don't have a regret I don't have a regret but in my career plenty that and also continue to to repeat the same mistakes again by the way you 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 think you have learned 
Sine Melani less on Sasan on a Capsan Melani Melani Melan. And then you get somebody else who woos you in, and then you regret again, you regret again. Yeah. Now okay. I know better. All right. No better. So, okay. How did you recover from Ile, Ile backlash na breakdown yet challenge kusho? What did you do to recover? Because some of us on Ajipata in really sticky, tricky situations, yeah, yeah. on Ajipata, like it's, it's, you feel like this is the worst it can get. How did you recover from that? Oh my goodness. It took me, and, and I'm so serious telling you this, guys. I have never been affected in my entire life like the way I was in that period. And friends leave you, everybody go, nobody even wants to be associated with you because they look at, at you as a rebel. And what blogs write, let me tell you, blogs interpret the wrong things. I think it's just because they want people to read or whatever, visit their website. But I was torn. Kabisa, my heart was broken. I don't even know how I never got into depression because I, I, I went and I stayed in the house for a whole year. Do you know I was in the house? I was going, if I have these two little projects, go do them, come back in the house. I didn't want to see anyone. I didn't want to be associated with anyone. I just wanted to have my own time. But my family and my friends who are there helped me a lot and prayers. And prayers, you guys, you pray. You pray and you tell God our word. Ata kama usifunge macho, muangalie hivi, muambia sifungi. This is how I feel. Family, friends, prayers really, really me kept me going a whole year. And I was devastated. Musidhani ati nilikuwa huko inje, ati sasa naka hivi, niko sawa ye. No, 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 it broke me. But here I am. Yeah. Bigger and better. Yeah, also people say that some of those situations yeah. are the situations that define you yeah. or that uh, really, really speak to you. Yeah. Was, was it the same for you? Like, was it a defining moment for you or how was it like? I had so many other challenges after, but I think that specific one made me who I am today. I got to learn one or two things of, on how to handle things. And it has really defined me because it made me stronger. I don't think there's anything else that will happen in my career that will break me more than what happened back then. I think now I'm stronger. Made you stronger, yes. I'm stronger than ever. I can take in anything. And I also realized I don't have to explain myself to anybody, which is an, a very amazing quality, by the way. Mm -hmm. I, I don't explain any, anything, anything. If I don't, kama sija kunyonga, ama sija ku, I don't need to explain myself to anybody, whether it's my personal life, my career, I can, if there's something that is touching on my career that has impacted people in a negative way, I can explain that. But anything else apart from that, I don't need to give an explanation. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so what makes you feel alive? What makes you feel you're a good person? What makes you feel you're worth uh, living? And what makes you feel good about yourself? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know if I can say my kids. <laughs> I think my kids, wow. Wow. Okay. my kids make me feel very, very good about myself. Mm -hmm. um, they inspire me a lot. Um, and I have allowed myself to learn from other people. Like, I know I'm not the only person who knows, you know. I ask for advice. I, you know, I allow people in. I allow people in, I give them a chance. As much as, like, for example, I can tell you, I don't know if I've gone out of topic, but the upcoming comedians now, yeah, there's so many of them. Now we are doing a very interesting thing of collabs in Kenya, which is yay, that's amazing. And we are also working with women, which is one of the best, best things that is happening right now. So I normally, yeah, that's, that's me. I don't know if I've answered you, Mudoni. Yeah, you have. Yeah, that's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, that's good <laughs> enough. You're my friend. I know mm -hmm. you. So what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? I did a... Sorry, Zangu Zawaza to explain. I did a very interesting campaign 10 years ago. And I met a boss. It was an international company. And he told me, Wanjiko... You don't have to do everything to make yourself relevant. You understand? Like you don't have...
to endorse everything. You don't have to be good to everybody. You don't have to go out of your way to be good or to be, you know, you can just take one thing at a time. Today, this is what you're endorsing, Wanjiko. Be, live with that first, then move to the next. You always have to take your time, take your time. Yeah, because we are rushing with everything. We want to struggle to do everything. You want to touch this? Yeah. You want to touch that? Oh my goodness. Guy, you want to touch this? Guy, 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 as in you, you, you find yourself you're doing so much yeah. and you don't have to do that. It's one step at a time. <laughs> okay, yeah. so, so what's your favorite quote? My favorite quote is from the Bible uh, and it says, As long as I'm in this world, I am going to be the light Yay. of the world. Nice, nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. so you work towards being the light. To being know. the light. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I have to make sure all the time I'm in the light. I'm being seen. Whatever comes out, whatever is done in the dark, yeah. comes out to the light. Mm -hmm. Yangu a bit opposite because I have to find myself in the light all the time. And you can do that yourself too. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of female comedians have really are really doing well. When yes. you look at people like Mamito, yes. Wanjeri, other female comedians are coming up. Yeah. But there is more to be done. Yeah. You have had projects and programs where you try to uplift upcoming yes. uh, female comedians. What needs to be done in the industry? Uh, first, we need a lot of support. Uh, the industry should really come out and support women. A female uh, comedians we are not so many of us I think the ones who are really really known and in the limelight we are like six or five and uh, we have struggled we, we don't get a lot of opportunities and I know this is this might sound like cliche like we only fight for women <laughs> women women but when it comes to comedy it's very different we don't get the opportunities other people get but I do like that we have social media now and it's all about how good your content is people will follow where there's good content so please support us uh, for the female comedians uh, yeah, guys, like I live in the bush, so they are really yeah, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, female comedians. It's very important as women to support each other. I think you had some time back about a very big scandal that happened. Blah blah blah. And it was a female comedian. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was very bad and below the belt and saying, "Oh, career, you you have Wanjiko, you have slept your way up." Can I say something? Yes. yes Do you know in comedy you can't sleep your way up? You have to be funny. You have to be funny. Yeah. So how do you sleep your way up? You can't. You know, you will be given an opportunity once like this on that stage. If you're not funny, if Kenyans can't relate to you, if you find yourself, you, they find you boring, that's it for you. I yeah? think for you guys, the yeah. audience endorses you. Like yes. They, if they don't like you, then you have to work. Then you have harder. to work extra, extra hard. Yeah. So female comedians, please let us support each other. Let us uplift one another. When I call you, we do a collabo. Let's do a collabo. Because when you grow, I grow. And the industry grows. So we are all growing each other. Aww. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I've seen your support. Aki, I've seen your support. Upcoming talent. I've seen yes. you support other women. You support me as yeah. your friend. That's why you're even here with me. Yeah. So thank you so much, Wanjiko. Thank you so much, Modoni, for having me. Mm -hmm. And congratulations on everything you're doing. And yeah, click that subscribe button. Click that, you better. Excuse me, thread. Excuse me, we subscribe. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. We love you. You have been watching Bodoni's mission. See you next time. Bye. Bye.